proof giving is here. Uh, we named this day three years ago on our first Wednesday before Thanksgiving when uh, we realized that it's just a special day. Uh, every year this day has had an overwhelming amount of product ordered. This year was no different. We got a little lucky this year, uh, which at this point I think is deserved a little bit of luck. Uh, our new building is empty. Construction's about to begin, but we got a chance to utilize the whole building all week for packaging and distribution while it's empty and clean, uh, which otherwise would have been absolutely overwhelmed at the bakery. So I'm loading up the Uptown Farmer's Market, which uh, is happening this morning. We have another event here at Proof uh, in the afternoon. And it's still weird to say that here at, at Proof. Uh, and then finally, we have a uh, event at a local farm this evening, Steadfast Farm. Um, so simultaneously, there's delivery distribution happening. We've been doing uh, deliveries all over town uh, the last three days. Typically, we only cover like half the city on, a, on any given day, but we opened up the whole city all three days uh, and have just had a huge amount of deliveries each and every day. Um, we've been collecting some extra supplies for the holiday season uh, since summer, uh, but we did, did like a final big purchase of supplies on Friday when we bought 10 more of these racks and 150 sheet trays. And by Friday night, everything was in use. I mean, we got back to the bakery with this stuff and immediately had to clean it and put it to use because we were using every single sheet tray that we owned. And what's funny is I just bought a bunch of sheet trays not that long ago. Every time I buy them, I think, oh, this is it. I'm never going to have to buy sheet trays anymore. Even this time, we went to this store that uh, has a bunch of uh, equipment at it. And they had these two big stacks of sheet trays. And I wasn't planning on getting 150, but I thought, well, I'm going to need them eventually. So I got 150 into my shock and horror, uh, they were all gone within a, within the day. Um, so we've been cycling bread back and forth from the bakery to this location all week. I feel like I'm, I'm a shuttle driver. Not everybody's insured on the truck. I'm one of the few that is. And so, uh, I've been driving a lot. I'm looking forward to getting this last delivery done to Uptown. Uh, I got to pick it up later, but the rest of the day I get to spend here at the new location, which should be a lot of fun. We're definitely going a little aggressive on stocking this market today. It's never really all that certain what's going to happen in 2020 at a live market. Uh, but the good news about this morning one is we, we can afford to send more to it and hope for the best because anything that doesn't move there is just gonna come back here for the afternoon. And what we're really kind of hoping for and seeing is I think a lot of people are excited about our new location, uh, which is awesome. Uh, so we think that maybe a few people are gonna arrive today for the event here. Uh, we're going to try to keep the line outside later on. We're going to be setting up for that. We have a plan in mind. Uh, keep everybody safe. This is a heavy shelf with all this bread on it. Each of these loaves weighs around two pounds. 
and there's well, at least 50 of them on there. Even the lift gate thinks so. I like the way these shelves came out, which I'll be at some point, I wrote down the exact way that I build these the last time I built one. And I'm looking for a brief period of time where I can organize those thoughts and share them. But I will. Uh, what I like about these shelves is they, uh, they can stand up to anything since they're made of solid wood. All the components are designed for heavy use, but also easy replacing. And uh, in the truck, they, they also sandwich well with uh, speed racks, helping with security. We can even stack them nicely at the markets uh, at the end of an event uh, while we're waiting for the truck. And they store a lot of bread. Each one of these in, in materials here locally costs about $150 to, of material plus the time that it takes to build it. And you need a little bit of skill, but not really an overwhelming amount. Good morning, John. Good morning. How's it going? How's it going? Thanks for coming and doing some deliveries today, Dad. <laughs> what do you think of it in there? Oh, I haven't been in Go take a peek. So my father-in-law, Amanda's dad, is uh, doing a delivery route today. Uh, According to Lacey, our logistics coordinator, uh, he was the linchpin that made today smooth. Uh, close to, took uh, seven drivers today. Uh, and he happens to live up north where the houses are pretty spread out. So we gave him all those. It just made everybody else's routes a lot, a lot more doable, especially given everybody else has been delivering uh, more than usual the last few days. The whole team is pretty, you could say, uh, overworked right now. I think just about everybody went into overtime last week. And uh, we're hoping for a really good result today if we can hit a certain amount, then Amanda and I are really trying for the first time to be able to not only close for the weekend after Thanksgiving, which has been a contentious subject in our house for the last few years. Uh, Thanksgiving's her favorite holiday, and we have never been able to afford to close. Uh, you know, it, Saturdays have always been our biggest day, and the Saturday after Thanksgiving is a very big day for, for sales. Uh, so we've typically been very reliant on that day, especially going into our winter season where, you know, the whole summer up until this year was still a loss in the summertime. This year we actually did okay. We did really well this summer. Um, but uh, in years previous, the summer kind of has to get you first have to catch up after a few months of uh, lower sales. Uh, and so having the special events that bring in big dollars, um, it's hard to miss those. Although working as hard as we did the last few weeks where two weeks kind of... This it? Oh, sorry. Everything else going okay in there? Yeah. It's all, uh... all right. If not, we'll bring it all back for you to sell here. I so I think I was saying today took seven drivers to deliver, but delivery has been really great for us. Uh, although it's very difficult. Uh, and I think a lot of people 
few months ago really wanted to do delivery, but uh, it's really hard to get the pricing right and the volume right in order to be able to basically pay that layer of staffing uh, for your delivery drivers. Uh, boxes cost a fair amount. They're not cheap. Uh, so it wasn't the easiest thing to get up off the ground and figure out financially, but uh, we sort of took our time. It took us until June to figure it out. And once we did, uh, we've just slowly been growing it ever since. Uh, there's definitely a lot of break even weeks in the summer where we're just working at it. But then uh, this year for Thanksgiving, wow. Uh, what a great thing to be able to have for us and for the customers. Uh, when everybody sort of congregates in one place, it's, it's much harder. We were able to sort of spread out this year, uh, which was nice. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick check in with everybody before I take off and then we got to head out. Okay, you guys, I am uh, headed to Uptown. Anybody need anything? All right, good luck. Bye.